best way to make herbal soup is to put herbs in your soup. <laughs> Come on with me now. Listen, there are so many really good roots and herbs that really don't even have a flavor. So you want to put roots and herbs in everything that has liquid because you want to be healing yourself as well as filling yourself. Now, my uh, seafood chowder, get you some really good seafood. I had shrimp, crab, clams, and salmon. And we just gonna make us a really good soup. I mean, that's it. The main thing is your broth and heavy whipping cream, really good butter, vegetables like onions and celery, garlic. That's it. With the heavy whipping cream, blending it all together makes it absolutely delicious. And then you season it and you taste it along the way. Um, when you use the canned clams and things like that, you want to keep all of the juice in there. I did um, have chicken broth as well. I simmered it. I like to cook everything for a long time so that it really gets the, the seasoning out in it and all of the herbs and roots. I want everything out of there. I want all the healing properties. And then I want it to taste good. Carrots, potatoes, broccoli, all that goes in my broth. Put the seafood in absolutely last. <laughs> I like to peel everything and cut things up myself. That way I know it's real and as fresh as possible. But it's the simmering. I throw the shrimp and crab in last because, you know, those cook really fast. Um, Old Bay seasoning is always a must have when you're dealing with anything seafood. And please don't forget some lemon. You don't have to pre-cook all of the um, shrimp, but I like to do it because I wanted some color and I want the flavor. I wanted to garnish with some shrimp. The other shrimp I just threw in but then I took out me about 10 or 12 so that I could saute them in a side skillet so that I could top my seafood chowder with them I had regular crab in there but I had some crab legs in the freezer so I wanted to throw them on in there too because I like the way it looked baby and them crab legs taste good after um I was able to crack them and everything they really taste good after being in that broth yeah, I threw some corn in there as well for the color and for the flavor. Always put some bay leaves in your liquid soups. That helps. But then pull them out. Anything that I don't want people to eat or to interfere with the eating, I take out. But everybody like the crab legs. Usually I like all of the stuff easy so you don't have to go through a lot and get your hands all dirty and all of that. But baby, this was good, honey. This was really good. And I made some Cheddar Bay biscuits to go with it. I had absolutely no complaints. It really doesn't take long at all. I just like for it to simmer and brew for like four to six hours really slow. I do.